and uh, I woke up this morning, my blood sugar was... Alright, good morning guys. I woke up at 7.30 and my blood sugar was 160. Now it's way better than the past two days of my uh, fasting blood sugar. Yesterday was 180 and the day before was 200. And uh, I kind of had an expectation it was going to be higher. I made breakfast in like an hour or so. I took two units for the 160. I'm estimating each unit is going to bring me down by 20 to 40 milligrams per deciliter, hoping I can get to the 90 range. And right now I'm just about to edit the video for yesterday. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. See you soon. That's what we like to do. Let's go. Uh. Alright, homeboy. So, as I predicted, it was 100 milligrams per deciliter after the correction, right before breakfast. Just cooked up breakfast, feeling good. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now. So I got a little bit of walnuts, some artichoke pieces, artichoke pesto, two string cheese, about 100 calories, and then five olives, some romaine, tomato, celery, and then this is Arabic sausage. I'm gonna count out my fitness pal as, as a higher fat food, because it is pretty high in fat. It's called bastoma in Arabic, four eggs, and then my supplements, B12 or whatever, B multivitamin, fish oil, water, and I had coffee, and I'm gonna have coffee before this. And uh, I took about two units for this, so let's see how that goes. All right, so I just got back from work, and that breakfast you saw at 12, it was 100 milligrams per deciliter. Took two units, and I'm about to check now because it's 2:30. It's so hot. God dang it, I got cut off at like 2:30. I was gonna share you guys my blood sugar. So at 12:30. Or 12 p.m. after that breakfast, my blood sugar was 100 milligrams per deciliter. Good, clean. And then at 2.30, went to 142. I took two units, one for correction, and another half for another uh, correction. The other half was like, you know what, I wanted some snack on almonds and walnuts and another string cheese. I got a little hungry. And um, I cooked up my lunch I showed it to you guys but it <laughs> got deleted on here and uh, it was I, I'm honestly I'm gonna say honestly I didn't really count the calories on it it was a lot of fowl like mini chickens hard to explain I don't know what the name is oh it's quail I had a bunch of quail it's a little higher in fat because it was an oil that some romaine tomato celery a little bit of walnut some artichoke paste dip um, not dip but paste pesto and I took five units for that because I went to 157 before that. And I should have pre bolus but to be honest, I'm just way too hungry. I'm sweaty right now. Just been working on the video. And um, what else? Uh, yeah, I think I've just been really inactive. That's like a, another factor I forgot about. I've just been like sitting down all day, uh, driving and then editing. So uh, my process goes after I eat lunch is I, I wash the dishes, set to clean the table. And then I usually brush my teeth, wash my face. Uh, it just helps me refresh and stay focused, not, not wanting to snack, tendency to snack. And I'm pretty full too. Uh, the fowl is pretty good and protein filled me up. I would say the fowl is probably around like 400 calories, over guessing, uh, overshoot counting I mean. And then uh, another 100 calories of the vegetables plus the taste and a little bit of walnuts. So I'd say like a good 700 calorie meal because I snacked around, you know, factoring that stuff. Blood sugar might go a little higher, but it should drop down soon. Um, plan is to go stretch. I need to actually like take care of myself and start actually saying the things that I said yesterday. Just take care of myself first before I try to take care of others. So stretch, brush my teeth, wash my face, maybe shower. I don't know. I feel sweaty. Um, and yeah. <laughs> I don't know.
you know, I really don't want to be here. So I'm at Macy's with my mom. She wants to pick out a couch. And my blood sugar was 159, I think. Yeah, 515 p.m. So I decided to take my lenses at home. So, um, I told you guys my blood sugar went to 159 or 160, and my mom dragged me to Macy's, had to help her out, pick out a couch, as you can see, and after that, we just walked a lot, and I thought my blood sugar went high because my, my left foot kind of was tingling, and I was like, oh, man, and it was 70, which was great. Um, She's like, oh, it's going to go low. I'm like, no, mom, 70 is pretty normal. I can, like, have two carbs and this will go up. Um, so it's good. I'm back now, my clothes. So I plan on going to the gym right now before dinner. I like going right before a meal. Um, so I kind of come home hungrier and the timing is right. I want to show you guys what I'm going to do in the gym, but most likely... I really can't because it's hard to get the right angles and stuff, but I'll try as much as I can because I love you guys. And uh, today I'm probably just going to play some basketball, try to stretch out maybe 10 minutes of abs. And, oh, I forgot to do traps yesterday for pull day. Because, yeah, honestly, like, my traps are actually the, like, the biggest thing in my body. It's really weird. I barely work them out, and they're, like, genetics crazy. Out of all the things, traps. So lucky. So yeah, I'm um, about to pack up and go. And yeah, almost done with the day. It's like about 7.50 right now. Last blood sugar check was, let me think, it was 99 before I, right before I drove here, and that was at 8.15, like 8 o'clock, yeah, and uh, it was going up from the 70 to 99 because I, you know, I had snacked around, I got like a cheese stick, some almonds, and uh, that was, that was enough to bring me to that, and then uh, as you know, I took my Lantus at 5 o'clock, 5.15, 30 units, my usual, which I need to really change up. Um, and my blood sugar, right after basketball, just shooting around, like 15, 20 minutes, it went to 60. And I'm like, you know what, that's the Lantus because the Novolog is already out of my system. Can't, it can't go from 99 to 60. So. What I think I want to try, I haven't read in the book yet how to go about my, my basal dosing. I know that I need to split it into twice a day instead of an industrial shot, which he calls an industrial shot, which is a boatload of insulin at once and, hold, and pray that it holds me out through the whole day, which it isn't. Morning is rising, night is dropping, or at least past 6 o'clock. So what I think I'm about to do is take 15 units at like 10 p.m., 15 units at like 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. Something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna read it up today. I just did five minutes of stairs. Super hard for me. I haven't done much cardio lately. Just a lot of stretching, and I need to stretch right now. So I got the foam roller right here, and I'm literally at 24, sitting on the court, and my water's over there. So yeah, see you guys soon. Mm -hmm. 